Whoa. H who? Who the hell are you? Hmm? Oh my. I'm very sorry. Did I startle you? I tend to forget how I look in this silly old cloak. My apologies. Now then. N no way. You've got to be joking. Is he? Howdy. My name is Asgore. You may know me as King Asgore. But please, just call me Asgore. Or King Fluffy Buns if you'd prefer. I swear, I'm never going to live that name down. Huh? No way. King Asgore? Here? I am so screwed. He must have heard those brats screaming and came to help. Which means he's probably going to lock me up forever for beating the crap out of him. I barely have any magic left. But I've got to get back to Pap. Here goes nothing. Please say I teleported. Please say I teleported. Please say I... Teleported? Hmm? Well, I'm boned. Ah, I know I can be intimidating, but please, no I mean no harm. I thought we might find a nicer place to chat and perhaps get something to eat, if you are interested. Oh, silly me. I haven't gotten your name yet. Mm, my name's Sans. And if you're serious about the whole food and chat thing, can I, uh, suggest the food? Thanks so much for stopping by, Mr. Dreamer. And it was good to meet you, Sans. Have a super wonderful night. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Oh, and tell your family I said my regards. Thanks for the nice creams, your highness. My bro will be really happy when I give him this. That is, if I'm even allowed to head home after what I did tonight. Oh, Sans, of course you'd be allowed to go home. Your actions tonight were not... proper. But we will discuss that soon. Phew. Here I was, worried you put me in a dungeon somewhere. But I guess what my mom, Ariel, said about you was true. You don't wear shoes, but you got more soul than any monster around. Heh. <laughs> ah, so that means you are Ariel's son. I knew the moment I saw your face that you must have been related. It's actually quite shocking how you resemble your mother so closely. I had no idea Ariel ever had a son, let alone two. I wonder why she never told me about you both. Your mother. She was such a wonderful friend. She was so kind and strong. When I heard that she had fallen in battle, I, I, w I was crushed. And now that I know she sacrificed herself to protect you and your brother, I cannot help but feel responsible. I am so sorry for what happened to your mother. That sort of loss is not something any being should have to experience. There's nothing for you to apologize for. Mom wanted to fight by your side, and I'm proud that she didn't just give up. She died fighting for what she loved. On the same kind of note, I heard about what happened to your kids. Azriel and, uh, Kara, right? I'm, I'm really sorry for the pain you've been going through. You haven't had it easy by any means, so... You have my condolences. Oh, g goodness. Th thank you, Sans. I don't deserve such kind words. Ahem. <clears throat> well, I suppose we had better get down to the matter at hand, then. As you already know, I witnessed what occurred between you and those young monsters. As you described, these bullies had done harm to your younger brother, which of course must be dealt with. But the way in which you decided to handle the situation, Sans, was not appropriate. You must have lost yourself in the moment, but I must assure that you do not plan on acting this way again. Is that clear? Oh, don't worry. Your point is crystal clear. I'm not going to do anything boneheaded like that again. Promise. I'm really sorry. Well, that is good to hear. Then we must move on to your punishment. I do not truly believe in punishment. I much prefer mercy. So I do believe the best plan of action instead is this. You will apologize to the young dog monster face to face and him to you and your brother. Secondly, I have a proposition for you. After seeing your incredible magical abilities, I believe you may be the perfect monster to help a member of my royal staff, our monster community, and myself. You see, we are in need of a new sentry. A sentry monster basically patrols different sections of the underground for humans or dangerous activity and reports it to the royal guard. With your ability to warp from place to place as I saw earlier, You'd be able to cover a lot of ground to keep an eye on such matters. Usually, an incident like the fight you were in tonight would come with a fine. But if you would join my team as a sentry, I would waive any other punishment. You would also be paid for your assistance. W wait you serious? Are you actually offering me a job? If I'm a sentry, 
You'll even pay me? Of course. But I must warn you, this job may not be easy. My royal scientist may also require assistance and- Bring it on! I'm willing to work as hard as you need me to. I gotta make up your kindness to me somehow. And besides, I gotta take care of my bro. We've been scraping by as it is, so a chance to make some money and help some monsters sounds like a good gig to me. My, you are certainly just as determined as your mother. Ha! Huh. If you feel that you are truly up to the task and accept this offer, then I would be happy to get started as soon as possible. I can even introduce you to my royal scientist tomorrow. What do you say? King Fluffy Buns, you've got yourself a new sentry. Splendid. Welcome to the team, Sans. <sighs> Why did I even mention that nickname? <laughs>